adjust this. And then slightly taller. Yeah, good morning and uh, good morning. and welcome on this beautiful morning. Thank you very much. Uh, we've got the car boot sale on one of the runways today, but the organiser has helped us very much. He's redirected a lot of the traffic away and he put no parking signs up there. So I'm just going to give you a little bit of an introduction this morning. It's unusual this morning because this is an Armistice Day ceremony and it's held on the 11th of November each year. But this year it's, uh, it's fallen on the same day as Remembrance Sunday, so it is going to be a very busy day. We usually were quite a bit separated apart. The ceremony has been held here for, for 10 years since the monument was dedicated in 2004. And, but many years before that, the chairman of the Fleet Air Arm Association has come down and he lays crosses on the, uh, the naval personnel who were killed whilst at Bursco. So that's gone on for many years there. So, as I say, you're on a very historic site on here today. Um, it's, as I say, we've got the ceremony in Bursco this afternoon. So there's just uh, a little bit about the history of the air station on the service sheets there as well. So have a look at that. And uh, please do join us if you can at the Bull and Dog afterwards who uh, provide us with tea, coffee and sandwiches, which is supported by Bursco Parish Council as well as this ceremony. And it's a very historic connection on there. So that's... Uh, what that's all about. So I'm just going to introduce a few of the people here. There's going to be some people laying reeds. Uh, the Reverend Greenwood, he's come down from St. John's Church today in Bursco. All the vicars are very, and the clergy are very busy today, not just with morning services, but I think how many services are you you're covering today? Eight services then, that's just that particular church. So that it's, a, it's a long day there, but thank you very much for that. We've got Jim Seddon, he's representing the uh, Latham Bursco British Legion is laying a wreath. Lancashire Constabulary have come down. Uh, the Ormskirt Rotary Club. The chairman of the Fleet Air Arm Association, Arthur Gardner. And uh, Mr Hackett, who's the, uh, the new head of Lordsgate Primary School. And Sean Flood and Amy Harrison. Their school was demolished in 1940 to make way for the aerodrome, along with six farms. So the present school was paid for by the, uh, the Royal Navy, that sort of thing. So that, that's the historic connection. We usually have our flag bearer, but Claire Pollard this morning, he phoned me last night. Uh, he's had been drafted on emergency duty to the Skelmersdale ceremony. Uh, so we haven't got that, but we're, what we're hoping to do next year, have a permanent flagpole here, because in the near future, there will be a supermarket development on the left over here whichever supermarket chain is that. It's been designed to look like an aircraft hangar. It's called Ringtail Retail Park. There'll be history throughout the store and the developer has promised to pay for a, a permanent flagpole here. So we might get a few more little bits out of him. So we're just going to start the ceremony now. But before that, I'll just m mention one thing. You'll notice on the service sheets, the ceremony looks like it's, it follows the fleet air arm tradition. It's, it's, it's commemorating personnel who served on Royal Naval Air Station Bursco, but this is now the Armistice Day ceremony of Bursco, so the words and the hymns of the Fleet Air Arm Prayer, but during the two-minute ceremony, we, um, we always remember those that have uh, died in other conflicts. And so, I'm just going to read a little poem here now. And this poem here was written in 1915 by Lieutenant Colonel John McRae of the Canadian Army Medical Corps. He died the 28th of January 1918. Now this poem made such an impact on society that the idea of wearing a poppy became a way of remembering the dead. It's called In Flanders Fields. In Flanders Fields the poppies blow between the crosses row and row that mark our place and in the sky, the lark still brave, singing fly, scarce heard amongst the guns below. We are dead, short days ago. We lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. The torch be yours to hold it high, if ye break faith with us who die. We shall not sleep, though poppies grow, in Flanders Fields. Thank you very much. I'll hand you to the Reverend now. Thank you. Thank 
you, Lawrence. And we just spend just a moment gathering our thoughts and remembering why we're here. We are gathered here in the presence of God to give thanks for the services rendered to the country by all who served on this station during the Second World War and those who gave their lives in the cause of freedom. We pray for all those who continue to suffer through war and are in need. We give thanks for the many achievements of the past and dedicate ourselves to the opportunities that lie ahead. We ask for God's help and blessing that we may acknowledge him as Lord and King. And so we sing together the fleet uh, arms hymn, that wonderful hymn, Eternal Father, Strong to Save. <coughs> They shall not grow old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them.
thank you very much. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll lay the wreaths now. So the Bursco Parish Council. Let us pray. O God, who dwells above the water and has power to still the raging sea, accept the prayers of all your servants who commit their lives to the dangers of the sea and the air. In all their ways, enable them to serve you in a godly and faithful way, and in their Christian lives reflect your glory throughout the world. Through all their journeys, Watch over them, that they may overcome evil, temptation, or anything which harms their souls, so that through all the chances and changes of this life, you will bring them by your mercy to the sure promise of your everlasting kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. And we join together as we say our family prayer, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And may God give to you and to all who you, you love his comfort and his peace, his light and his joy in this world and in the next. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and all who you love this day and always. Amen. <coughs>
Well, thank you very much for that. Um, there's just someone I'm going to introduce this morning. It's come as a bit of a surprise. It's someone who's come down today. He's picked up on the article in Fly Pass magazine. And he's not been here since he was with 1771 Squadron that was at Bursco and went off to fight the war. Uh, I hope you won't mind me if I just maybe introduce him. His name is Dennis Hall. It's his first time down here since since Ringed Hill was here. So I don't know, would, would, would Dennis like to just step forward a second we can give him a round of applause? Brilliant. First time back at Ringtail yeah. since he was here with 1771 Squadron. Yeah. Thank you very much for that, Dennis. And uh, we'll see you at the Bull and Dog Bowl. Please join us up there. All this has made possible the monument, the hospitality, in on the PA by Bursco Parish Council, which are very supportive and uh, been wonderful over the years. So thank you very much for coming down. You remember it wasn't always a sunny day like this when uh, when Ringtail was operational it was a, quite a muddy place it was the first and second world war wasn't like this so we we think about that also these were probably the good days and we're, we probably live in lucky times and I was watching the uh, the ceremony from the Albert Hall last night and they said that since the last Remembrance Day so there was 48 uh, servicemen being killed and women so uh, and that included over the years Sarah Brind the first lady to die in action in uh, since the Second World War, who's on the Bursco War Memorial. Well, thank you very much, and hopefully we'll see you back at the Bull and Dog, but if not, have a look at the history sheet and uh, keep in touch. Thank you very much.